Hey, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my blog. All right, okay, so this is vlog 200. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have now done 200 of these. Um, I can't even remember, I, I can't even remember how long ago it was I first started doing them now. I don't know, that's why I, I know it's been more than two years, I think it's probably maybe three at this point. I, I don't know, I really don't remember. <laughs> I'm rubbish when it comes to working these things out, but yeah, 200. I have done 200 vlogs since I first started doing vlogs on this channel. Um, and they've gone through like a lot of, I want to say a lot of different phases. I don't know if that's necessarily the fairest thing to say. Um, I know there have definitely been phases of it. Um, I know early on I was talking a lot about like the multiverse stuff and a lot of the vlogs were sort of like concentrating on um, things to do with the multiverse that I'd created um, and stuff like that. Um, and then I started, you know, incorporating more and more other things because I, I don't think I was running out of multiverse topics necessarily, um, but it was getting harder for me to sort of not repeat information and stuff like that or remember which ones I'd done uh, without having to like look through my entire backlog. Um, like my multiverse is changing and expanding all the time and I'm very, very focused at the moment on a particular part of it. Um, that's the Novaration Collection, <laughs> which is not as connected to, to like the grander narrative. Um, the, the Shadow Beneath the Light stuff is, um, interestingly enough, uh, the Shadow Beneath the Light stuff does connect to the wider multiverse stuff, but the Novaration stuff it is part of the same multiverse, but it's not connected to the grander narrative. Um, so, yeah, I, I assume everything in the Neverated stuff is canon to the multiverse, but it's canon to that part of the multiverse, and that part of the multiverse is kind of disconnected from everything else, which is a thing within the multiverse. So, <laughs> it's, it's one of the disconnected planes, guys, one of the disconnected realms, it's fine. It, it is canon to the multiverse is just canon to that particular part of the multiverse and it's not part of the grander narrative. At this stage, um, I don't think those those particular stories are ever really going to, to connect up. Um, although from any of you who have got uh, seen the the J um, the J one, the J vlog that I did as one of like the multiverse explanations this is one of the six, like, the, the J in the Never Rating Collection is one of the six Js. Um, it's just not one of the ones that I've ever really explored before. Um, so, yeah, he, he is definitely connected to the grander narrative, even though he doesn't know it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is all part of the, the same multiverse. Um, it's just a very disconnected part from the rest of the multiverse. So, as I said, everything in it is canon, but because they lack the knowledge and understanding from the rest of the multiverse, they might talk about things in a slightly different way, they might understand things in a slightly different way, um, and things might come across in a slightly different way. Um, but, you know, all in all, it is one of those situations where, no, it is, it is canon, it is part of the multiverse, it's just a very disconnected part of the multiverse. So, yeah, that was kind of a random tangent <laughs> on this 200 episode vlog. Um, so yeah, a lot of the early stuff was talking about the, um, the multiverse and all the stuff that goes on in the multiverse and stuff like that. Um, and then I sort of expanded out and started adding in uh, random like lifestyle stuff and the fan fluations. I mean, you know, the fan, fan fluation stuff was sort of there from the beginning anyway. Um, I started doing like the fan fluation stuff. I haven't uh, done a fan flu for a while, and I do know that I haven't done one for a while. Um, there hasn't really been, I mean, there, there's been lots of things that I've been watching and sort of going through, and I've sort of been like, um, I, I sort of like touched on it a little bit when I've been doing like my monthly roundups. Um, but in terms of, of like new stuff that I've got to talk about, uh, there isn't necessarily a lot of new stuff that I would want to necessarily dedicate a fan fluation to. Um, so, yeah, I may do one at some point in the future, I may not do one at some point in the future. Um, 
So the things that have kind of gone on since I started doing the vlogs, um, I attempted a writer's tips, which oh, the amount of edit, editing for that was just just such a, a headache, um, and it wasn't like. And I I, I work full time. I have like a full time writer on the side of that. I I really didn't have time to be working on something that was so edit heady. I mean. I may bring it back at some point when I am able to work as a full-time writer if I've got like the time to sort of do it then but when I'm, I'm competing with with a with a very tiring day job it you know I've only got so much energy guys I do have medical conditions <laughs> that, that I need to keep in balance um so yeah that was one of the things that I ran alongside the blogs for a while um I also did Isla Reads uh, for Echo, which did have to stop because of the, uh, the information in my ribcage, which did make me very unwell. Um, and I, I, I kept saying that I was going to go back and, and continue doing that. But to be fair, Echo has had a rewrite. <laughs> Not like a, a total overhaul rewrite, but it has had a bit of a rewrite or a, a bit of a, a, a re-edit, I should say, rather than rewrite. So rewrite it implies you're changing, like, a huge uh, chunk of the story, whereas a, a, a re-edit is like more in line with actually what it got through when it moved from um, Lulu to, to KDP. I did go through and I did do a re-edit of it, um, so it's not. It's pretty much the same basic story. It is definitely the same basic story, but certain details um, have been either em emphasised, de-emphasised. Certain lines have been changed and stuff like that. So. If I were to continue doing an Isla Reed, I would probably have to restart Echo, which, which doesn't which doesn't sound like a particularly appealing thing to do right now. Um, I have been considering maybe doing the occasional live stream either on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitter while I am reading some extract or some chapters or whatever from one of my books um my, my my biggest thing with that is i'm not the best at reading things out loud i stumble over things um i do like get like part way through a sentence and i'm like the sentence doesn't make sense and then i'm like no it, it does make sense it's just my brain hasn't caught up with it yet <laughs> um so yeah it, it's one of those things I'm, I'm sort of considering um i'm definitely considering maybe reading the first chapter of uh, broken before use for halloween as part of like the halloween promo for it but yeah i'm not very good at reading out loud um that was again that was one of the reasons why especially with my my chest being as painful as it was um i did feel like it was more conducive for me to stop doing the Isla Reads um, because it was something that I was mentally struggling with and it was something I was physically struggling with. Um, so it just made a lot of sense at the time to sort of stop doing it and then once I'd stopped doing it I kind of couldn't get myself back into doing it again. Um, so yeah that was another thing that has kind of run on this channel alongside the vlogs um, since, since the first vlog um, went up. Um, I, I have occasionally thought of doing other things for this channel, <laughs> but the vlog format is just, it's just easy and it kind of fits around my lifestyle. Um, and then of course we moved into like the third wave of it, um, where I stopped picking the topics beforehand and started just vlogging whatever was on my head, uh, whatever is in my brain space when I come and sit down to, to actually record these things. Um, and that's pretty much what I've been doing. Since the beginning of the year, um, which I'm hoping has been slightly more organic um, and a, a little bit less forced, but it also means I don't always know what I'm talking about before I sit down and talk about it. And sometimes I'll talk about the most random things. Most of the time I'll talk about my books. <laughs> and this has been like a really, really unusual year as well, um, just in terms of everything that's been going on um and everything that you know i've i've had to sort of talk about um or i've you know it's been a really i mean most of the time when i'm sort of talking about the stuff that's relating to everything that's going on outside of my nice little flat um has been during my my roundups of the month um so i'm just not the type of person who 
wants to waste a lot of energy and time dwelling on things aren't, you know, dwelling on things that are just going to make you sort of depressed and panicky and whatever else. I'm not, I'm not the type of person who, you know, likes to dwell on negative emotions. I prefer to sort of encourage, like, the, the positive emotions. I prefer to have a positive outlook on life. Um, and hey, a positive outlook on life means on that blog 200. That's the all times back, all times back. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I in general try to have a very positive outlook on life. So part of the reason I haven't been dwelling too much with all the craziness going on in the world is because that just breeds a lot of negativity. Um, and I think, you know, okay, yeah, I am a very obsessive person when it comes to talking about my writing. I do understand that. But I would rather, you know, maybe give somebody a little bit of possibility uh, positivity by talking in an enthusiastic way about something that I'm passionate about than moaning and complaining about the state of the world right now because you know it's for some people it's a very very scary place and you know I, I understand that and I respect that and you know if I can you know not make that worse to people then I will if that means that for other people it seems like I don't care okay sure that's your opinion but <laughs> It's not a case of me not caring, it's a case of me not wanting to dwell on things that I can't really do anything about right now. You know, I'm, you know, like everybody, just getting on with it and doing what I can to hopefully improve the situation, you know, by following all the guidelines that are in place for me, um, by following all the very strict rules we have at work, and trust me, the rules that we have are really strict. Um, I've got a friend who who works in a in a lab situation, and even she was like, "Your rules are so much stricter than ours." <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I you know, I, I yeah, yeah it's, it, it's a case of you know, it's not that I don't care about all that stuff that's going on. It's not that I don't care, you know, but the, the, the world is what it is, and. I would, as I said, I would rather focus on things that are more positive um, and, you know, focus on things that are more likely to distract people from all that negativity than be a harbour of fear and be a harbour of panic because that doesn't do anybody any good. Um, it causes a lot of people undue amounts of stress and, you know, I do know a lot of people who do suffer from fairly severe anxiety and I can see, you know, how much that is, like, really affecting them. So I would much rather not add to that. Thank you very much. <laughs> These people are stressed enough. They don't need more stress. So let me be positive when I want to be positive. <laughs> let me talk about my silly little writing when I want to talk about my silly little writing. Because, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather be a distraction than enabler of fear. I would rather not be an enabler of fear. Um, okay, that was a very, very odd divergence. <laughs> but again, this is this is my 200 vlog. My vlog for, for the 200th vlog that I have vlogged on this channel, um, which is a very weird thing to say at this point. Um, I'm not totally sure you know, <laughs> what this really should have been about, uh, what this really could have been about, um, other than kind of a reflection on the kind of things that have been on this channel since I started vlogging on it. I mean, obviously this channel existed before um, I started posting the vlogs. Um, I can't remember exactly when I created it. I think it might have been in 2010 or 2011. I know when I was, it was whilst I was still living in the first flat that I lived in, um, which is when I started working for the company that I am working for now. Um, and I know, I know it was before I moved, so I, it's either 2010 or 2011. Somebody could probably like check for me. I, I'm not too worried about that. Um, Obviously, my, my original videos on this channel were all poetry readings of my own poetry. Um, I look so young, like, like occasionally, because I've got two, two YouTubes. I've got my personal YouTube that I use for watching all my stuff, and I've got this one that I use for posting my actual um, 
my actual content and the reason I kind of have the two separated is because I do occasionally post things onto my personal one that are for my own personal stuff um, and has nothing to do with my writing and you know it just makes it easier to separate the things out um, but yeah <laughs> lost my train of thought there for a second um, what was I saying um, but yeah, no, I, I occasionally in my feed will see um, some of my old videos from back when I used to do the poetry and I'm like, oh my god, I look so young and so different, it's so weird. <laughs> so like, it's like looking back at a really weird time capsule, I'm like, oh my god, did I really used to look like that? Oh, so long ago, so long ago. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'm not going to get rid of all those all those those poetries that are on this channel. Um, I know they're not great. <laughs> I, I am aware that they are not great. Um, I, a poet, I am not. Um, I am a novelist first and foremost. Absolutely, one hundred percent, a novelist. Um, and I've said this before: novel novel writing is my specialty. I'm I'm not very good when it comes to anything else. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take them down from this channel because they're part of the history of this channel and yeah, okay, I'm celebrating the two hundredth vlog, even though technically it's it's far from the two hundredth video. Um, but I feel like it should be like a channel celebration all in all. Um so yeah, that's that's a part of the history of this channel, a part of the history of you know what what I've done here, what has gone on here, um and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it is what it is. This is my 200th vlog. I have kind of talked a bit randomly about lots of random random stuff to do with the channel and my general ethos, I think, for the channel. Um, my general ethos for the channel is to talk about writing because writing makes me happy. <laughs> I, I think we can sum up that that's my general ethos for this channel. <laughs> um... All right, okay, so with that said, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, I know it's been a very odd <laughs> 200 video. <laughs> no one said it had to be good. It's, you know, it's not rehearsed. It's me just sitting down going, oh, hey, it's a 200th video. Uh, I only know that because I've just edited the 199th one and it has reminded me that this is a 200th video. <laughs> oh, so now you know when I'm filming this, I'm filming this the day before the 199th one goes up. Um, so this is a Thursday. I'm filming on a Thursday because we do not have a weekend day off. Um, yeah. Week, week, weekday weekend. <laughs> Alright, okay, so enough with all that craziness. I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting. I hope you are looking forward to seeing what I'm talking about, going to talk about next time. Um, I feel like I've got an idea now as to what the next one will actually be about, which uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I may forget by by this time next week, um, or you know, it, it's dependent on a few things. But yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Um, all right. So enough said. I again. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.